the base requirement for life-saving intervention is humanitarian access. In Ethiopia, WHO was able to dispatch 14 metric tons of medical supplies to Afar and 70 metric tons of to Amhara in December. Two places have been affected by the conflict. In Tigray, WHO has not been permitted to deliver medical supplies since mid-July of last year. This is despite repeated requests from WHO to provide medical supplies to Tigray region, which would help meet some of the humanitarian and health needs in Tigray. Even in the toughest periods of conflict in Syria, South Sudan, Yemen, and others, WHO and partners have had access to save lives. However, in Tigray, the de facto blockade is preventing access to humanitarian supplies, which is killing people. I urge all leaders and key stakeholders in conflict to remember that those who work for peace are the heroes history remembers. We need health for peace and peace for health. To build trust and save lives, a good starting point is to ensure humanitarian and health corridors are open in all conflict zones so international agencies and civil society groups can do what they do best, save lives.